Welcome back, everybody. Dren 608 Plays. We're playing Road Trader here by Alcat Games. Uh, we've picked up Yurlet. We do have to uh, level her up. I've been... I looked at this. I think I'm actually going to take her down. The Bounty Hunter choice. And she gets here. She gets Piercing Shot. So it's going to take piercing shot here. And then at this level, I was looking around at all the things. She's got an ability that's going to make sure she gets a critical hit fairly often. It seems like that's kind of nice, pierce the armor. But there was another one. Where the heck did I find that? Penetrating sight. Armor penetration equal to percent perception percentage. I don't know if that's percentage bonus. But she could penetrate armor better. Or a dodge reduction equal to her ballistic skill. See, now it says percentage is theirs, but I'm wondering if that's really... can get dodge reduction. I was thinking one of these two might be better, because this one makes her my, in my sights cost only one AP. That ends her turn, but it guarantees that um, where's the in my sights? This is the only one where I have an option. I thought about taking up her toughness, but looking here at this, she's going to get, when she goes up a level, we're only a couple hundred points away from it. Uh, she'd be able to get up her, um, her agility here. And in here, I could actually have her take toughness, which would give her more hit points. I guess I could take Penetrating Sight here. Right? So maybe take Toughness here. Let's raise her Toughness by 5. That should give her some more hit points. I'm just afraid of her getting hit and just going down. Is it... Uh, Yeah, we're going to go with Toughness. And then this is just automatic Wild Hunt. She doesn't have a choice on that. And that's what we're going to do because in the end, if we apply it. Uh, if we go to someone else and then come back to her, she gets a few more hit points. So she's at 44, 54, 51, 47, 59, 47. So we're all in the 40s. She shouldn't be at 36. It says 44 there. Uh, let's get out of there and go back into character and make sure that that's actually... It still says 36 of 36. You should have more than that. I don't know why it does that. All right, so we sent Jay back to the ship and took her because she was required when I was choosing things. Um, I never actually went inside here. can't go inside it. Okay. So I think I'm supposed to journal. Uh, oh, geez. Turn off the completed world shapers. No, oh, the search of the rebels and the governor's estate. Find leads. Servants and other witnesses assassination time may be possible to extract a human experience himself, regardless of their vitals. 
regardless of their vital status. Okay, so just talk to people, I guess. Important occasion, a visit from a trader, Mary, marred by such an unpleasant incident. What did my thing just say? Warp Strider, the Coronas Expanse made the world tremble. Okay. Rise to the so if top, Jay's not here, it doesn't say dust. silly things. Okay. So now I guess I've got to talk to all these people. Let's talk to a servant. All right, the service says yes, your lordship. I'm not a rogue trader. Let's talk to the aristocrat. There's a pleasant incident. Okay, not gonna tell me anything. Always keep your eye on the prize. House Grantus has never inspired, respected, or trust. I have no doubt that it is it was they who brought the treacherous servants into the estate. House Grantus. So she says House Grantus. Is that actually doing anything in my journal? Directors and conspirators themselves, regardless of health status. Servitors aren't going to tell me anything, right? Mechanical parts produce a quiet whir and occasionally interrupted by clicking. Okay, yeah, they aren't going to tell me anything. Um, oh, there's somebody I need to talk to. Vin Zelix. Vin Zelix. Somebody down here. I always have a backup plan. Uh, I can't find this person. There's supposed to be a person right here. Vinzelix. Let's go talk to Vinzelix. Vinzelix, draped in a red cloak, the Magil's body barely looks human. Wires, tubes, and metal manipulators turn him into a whimsical machine while implants hide his face behind a sinister mask. Tech Freeze intermittently dictates something and Technolingua to the servo skull floating next to him. But at your approach, he falls silent and offers you a reserved bowing. Greetings, your lordship. Lex Mechanic, Vinzelix, how may I serve you? Scott and Lex Mechanic exchange trolls of Vinheric greetings and a series of sounds issued by Vinheric sounds much stronger and more deferential than those of Pesco. How many servants of you are the planet? Stored in my cogitator, all infrastructure nodes for food harvesting and processing have their own contingent of technomats. Total number amounts to 253. Correction, based on the latest data factors, the figure is 211 units. How are things with you and your fellows? Planet is assessed as stable. The progress of prospects is assessed as encouraging. Tell me about Janus. This is a neat composition suitable for the re-engineering of the planet and the mass production of foodstuffs, significant cultivation of the eastern hemisphere with the aim of improving production processes and logistics operations. Traces of xeno activity that do not pose an immediate threat to ongoing operations. Undesirable pathologies of flora and fauna have been noted, which may pose a threat in the short term. What pathologies in the flora and fauna? Genetic and chemical pathologies, your lordship. Harmless species mutate and become aggressive, while plants change their chemical composition and become poisonous. This is happening more and more often, and if no action is taken, the ecosystem of the world will be irreparably disrupted. Changes may be artificial. Has the possibility been considered that someone is manipulating the ecosystem to reduce our living space? Not at all, Venerable Magus. I, our tech comrades from the Magus biologists, are humble workers, not warriors. They could not have come up with a thought of such a militant nature. The mind must be open to all forms of knowledge. I order you to commence a check. In the event that your account of the indolence, indolence of their minds is confirmed, I will petition for the appropriate penance. 
It is the Leviathan's wrath, wrath that is becoming manifest in nature itself, in the workings of this world. May the gods preserve us. How did we not notice this sooner? Meaning they're looking away. Traces of Xeno activity. Obtained during initial survey, ruined structures of non-human origin were noted in different sectors of the planet, but I did not have the administrative capacity to study them in more detail. For now, I must defer to the quest for knowledge. I must defer the quest for knowledge. Last words of stink envy, his eyes fixed on Regis Henneman. How is the government dealing with undesirable I have analyzed the genome of the infected species and I am currently developing suppressor genes to make the planet's organisms resistant to pathology. But so far I have not been able to solve the problem. Further exploration of the planet would perhaps speed up the process, but the administrative representatives are supposed to ban on expeditions that are not directly aimed at improving production. Okay, talk about something else. What do you do here on Janus? Uh, by the order of the Adeptus Mechanics, I have been entrusted with the management of the Adeptus Administrandium in order to catalog agronom data and analyze information about the planet during the process of subjugating it to the will of the Imperium. Be blessed. Tech brother, your diligence and diligence of those like you turns Annika into order and bestows classification to knowledge. The fast cause of melon commences not you touches Lexman's his body, the piece of peace bows respectfully return, clearly a little startled. Okay, I've asked him all the questions I can ask him. We'll talk to him later. Okay, that was a named person. As you wish, okay. So I found a named person. I've been over here. Do I need to go back towards the place where we had battle? It was over here somewhere. Indeed. I have not seen many places that flaunt such luxury. If you were to scrape all the gilding from every temple on footfall, it would still be less than there is here. Many of the high-ranking guests have come for the meeting, or perhaps they weren't targeting your lady Viet, but the traitor. Who said this? One of you people. An honor. Important occasion, visitors, rock trader. Important occasion, not helping. Artillus Quint. That looks like somebody I should talk to. It's got a name. Artillus Quint, a stooping man wearing a cloak of the Adeptus Administratum, is reviewing information on a data slate while he's quietly wearing mechanical arms fill a long scroll with writing. Upon noticing the man stretches his thin lips into a smile and deferentially bows, light, eyes, light in the eyes of the service skull hovering over his right shoulder gen gently pulsate. Your Lordship, what an honor it is to address you in person. Allow me to introduce myself. Attilus Quint, Perfectus of the Officio Agricultiae. I will preserve the record of our conversation forever. What record of our conversation? What are you talking about? What record of our conversation? <clears throat> I can't say you record every conversation with a high-ranking person. It is and after what I fill out all seven accompanying forms personally. This is a completed scroll and a precise gesture that sews it away and pulls out a new one. Your words and judgments are in good hands. Okay. Let's fire with the scroll as he fills in another line. And of course, what great fortune it is to see for the very first time in all my years of service an emissary of the Nevis Nobelite here on Janus. I humbly welcome the esteemed Cassia Tisfea Everelli, Lady Navigator of House Geralt, Arcello. Everything from her condescending gaze and confident bearing in her calm but commanding voice marks Cassia as the heiress of a great fun line. Ostrak, the secretary, writes down each letter of her name with particular fastidiousness. Most uh, laudable foresight. I thank you. A moment such as the Prince of Rogue Trader must be preserved for posterity. What do you think of uh, Vistenzia Viet? Governor is a superb leadership. This is an excellent grasp of matters never used as incorrect from a given situation. I do not pry into personal affairs, but if I may speak plainly, a lady who fills out paperwork with such finesse cannot be a bad person, in my view. <laughs> Yeah, he would love paperwork, wouldn't he? <laughs> uh, what are your duties here? In case you've got to ever see the administrator of the planet, service secretary. It's responsible for the logistics related to supplying the planets of the one less seen, doesn't see in the timing. Payment of ties to the Imperial's official collectors. When were the last shipments sent? The shipyard supply shipments are all in order. All foodstuffs and other items are ready for export and are simply awaiting the arrival of transport ships. Current circumstances of the planet, Janus could not provide even one trench more than what is already prepared. 
There are certain systems are rectified in the near future. When did the lecture ships last come? I must confess that as yet I have not had the pleasure of filling out a sacred tithe protocol form. The last Imperial ships to come here did so under my predecessor. Come to think of it, that would have been several decades ago. I do hope the logistics responsible for such an unforgivable oversight lose their heads over this. Okay, that's enough of that. What do you have to say about Yerlet, who's standing right here? A highly, highly exceptional visual. After today's great run, I'm beginning to hold her talents in particular esteem. Verily, even mutants who have seen the light of the god ever can faithfully serve his flock. She's not a mutant. Particular abilities could be an interesting subject for study of the magist biologist. That elongated head shape, those eyes, judging by the skull, was given to me to send to, on to footfall. Such developmental anomalies on Janus are not a quirk of nature, but some kind of inheritable trait. Really, it freezes completely, turning into a living statue. What did you say? Oh, well, madam, have my words upset you? I'm certain your kinsman would be delighted to learn that people wish to make pretty press paper out of his remains, and besides, I could be wrong about the nature of his origins. What skull? It's truly really anomaly. One moment. Rummaging in a nearby container, Tim draws out a parcel which he immediately unwraps. Here it is. I believe the finished piece was intended to be given as a gift to the governor, but under the current circumstances, I doubt I will be able to send it to Footfall anytime soon. Yerlet stares at the skull in silence. You can see her jaw working under her delicate skin. After a few seconds, she abruptly turns away. The skull's been has reached toward Attilus with interest, seeming to unnerve him a little. Adequately preserved, it is a pity that it is empty inside. It could have become a proper servo skull, herald for the rogue trader unorthodox. Pulse of barbarism, remove it from my sight. Uh... Curiosity like this would look very nice on my desk. Oh, I mean, for me, I'd like to take it and give it to Yerlet to treat properly. Doesn't give me that choice. Could I do that? Let's try it. I mean, of course, undoubtedly, whatever you wish, your wife have raised your. For some reason, it's just strange. I have received strange skull. Okay. You're. I want to give it to you to take care of properly. Uh, what do you know of the attack on the estate? Simply disgraceful. I cannot believe these scoundrels would dare to come so close and to drag the nobility into this as well. If they penetrated the estate, that means they had help from some worthless servant or other. Security is certainly questioning the survivors, but the culprit has not been yet found. It's happening on the planet. Rebellions have caused us too many problems in recent times. The rebels are interfering with established processes, interrupting supplies, sabotaging the service work. Your nobles have even been killed, and worst of all, some of the victims occupied important administrative posts. Until the replacements pass their checks, complete all your induction forms and go through the official appointment procedure, the important paperwork is getting unsigned. It's a bureaucratic catastrophe. Things continue in this vein. I dare not even imagine what it could lead to. There are worlds that are ravaged by war for generations. Generations, your lordship. Like that deranged planet by the nameless star, so close to our own peaceful system. The inhabitants there supposedly live under the patronage of rogue trader Winterscale. I shudder to think what he has created there. Uh, where are the stars? region of the name of stars lies doomed world owned by Kelly's and one who's trapped in the agony of centuries long war. Uh, ending war. Okay. Of course, of course, I would be delighted to furnish you with all the information I have. In the last few months, 15 organized attacks and 7 terrorist attacks have been perpetrated. Irrigation equipment has been sabotaged in the Irrigation sections 3 to 5, transport routes 2, 7, 4, 13, and also... I suppose, I suppose this will not tell you much. Please, with a fussy gesture, he presses several buttons as data slate screen. Three-dimensional map with coordinates of the attacks appears on your cogitator. Logic test. Data submitted collated. The map clearly displays the action of the rebels. At first glance, there seems to be no logic to their campaign, but after analyzing the data, the features of the terrain, you notice a clear system indicating a geographical pattern to their attacks. Does anyone know? 
Well armed and well trained. Coordinates of attack and can attempt to surround your home, making it possible to narrow the search area. Well armed and well trained. What's more, the governors and advisors are inclined to think that the instigators of the rebellions are very familiar with the planet's terrain and climate. My ordinance are going through registration records day and night, looking for individuals who have completed military training, but we have so far been able to identify the scout. What are you doing? Trying to those who support the rebels and our regular wardens are wiping out those saboteurs with slight, without slightest mercy. They keep on appearing. My scribes have been ruined run off their feet, keeping records of all public hearings and executions, but I am confident that the governor will find a solution soon. Okay, that's enough of that. And I must take my leave. Yeah, okay. I'm done with you. Now, can I talk to Yurlet? Where is Yurlet? Where is Yurlet? I align my path with yours, for now. Uh, I wanted to talk to her. Okay, it's not gonna work. Not gonna work that way. Okay, there's somebody I had to talk to. Survivors. Something down here. Dried berries. Wrinkled fibers are just covered in short fuzz. Okay, those must be important for something. Sea storms and are covered in small boils that ooze cloudy pus even after death. So the marks of corruption. Bless it, why can't this thing stay at the bottom? Uh, these marks of corruption, not decay or disease, but how? Oh, we've got, you know heretics and edge of dawn people and stuff like that. Let's talk to the state ward. Uh, we're waiting for the estate to be cleared completely so we can be rid of this trash. I didn't dismember anyone who dare start nursing visitors, rest assured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the people I want to talk to. I can go back to my ship. Do I need to go back to my ship? Let's check the journal. Where am I at? Uh, World Shapers. Okay. Additional information about the rebels and comes in risk of the search. Coordinates of the attacks indicate a definite vector of movement for the rebels, making it positive, possible to narrow the search area. So is there more people I need to talk to? Just have to wander around and find them all. Security officer. Can't talk to him. Okay, I just have to walk up to him. Hulky man, dressed in uniform, marking him out as an officer of the gubernatorial wardens, is closely monitoring his wardens as they surround the building. Sensing your approach, he whips around, his face going pale, and he offers a low bow. Your lordship, please do not stray too close to the building. One of the terrorists from today's attack has holed himself up in there. He could be dangerous. Uh, what's going on here? And we conducted a sweep of the area after the attack. All the assassins were arrested and neutralized except for one. He sealed himself inside. He already injured two wardens who tried to reach him, but there's no need to worry. We'll poison him and clear the last dregs of dirt from the estate. I only have one question, officer. Why have you not already done it? Rogue Trader is here, and the longer you delay, the more you put his life needlessly at risk. Slightly over a snarl. It is, and excuse me, your lordship, the barrels of poison were only just delivered, but we're ready to begin now. I want to talk to the person inside. You sure it's not exactly safe, Your Lordship? It 
As you wish, Your Lordship. As soon as the other wardens take a deferential step back, clearing your path to the door. Can I go to this place? There's somebody in here. I want to talk to him. Is this the door? Where the hell is the door? Yeah. Alright, let's... Anyway, when you approach the solid door, a high boy's voice shouts out, Piss off! You won't take me alive! Better to put a bullet in my brain than let the Dubner's dogs get their hands on me. Alright. We can pick the lock. We can break down the door. Not very well. Awareness. Examine the door. I don't know if I did ever open this door. There's only a 50% chance on that. Pick the lock. 97. We've got a 100% chance here of doing awareness. Let's examine the door. Door looks solid and formidable, but you notice dark marks on the hinges, a sure sign that the material is degraded. Lock doesn't look new either. With a suitable tool, you could easily or could be easily opened. 92% chance to pick the lock? Check you succeeded. It takes half a minute to figure out the archaic medicine. With a soft click, the door opens, allowing you to enter. We go inside. Let's talk to this guy. Wound rubble inside a fully lit, but you spot a person standing in the fire room. He's desperately gripping a discharged blast gun in his hands. At the sight of you, his eyes widen in recognition and fear. It can't be the rogue traitor. A man, practically a boy, falls to his knees and stretches out his bloody hands towards you. His clothes are burned on one side and grimy with baked in blood. Your Lordship, have mercy. You are the sovereign of this planet. Only you have the power to save us. Youth is a time of reckoning this. I heard that said more than once in the Galala Progenium and during my noviate. Novitate. But youth is also a time of directness. Let us listen to this young man before we judge him. Execute the rebel! Just to do it, Sergeant. Why should I listen to this filthy insurgent? That's just being snobby. Save you from what? From going to Riot. Everybody here knows that she's doing it to... That she's doing... What she's doing to us. We put up with it for a long time, hoping that somebody would intervene and help us, but nobody ever did. She's turned the whole world into a slaughterhouse. People are rounded up like grocks from the settlement, supposedly to go to the palace, and they're never seen again. Her servants pour something over the fields, and then people lose their minds. They start hearing voices and seeing evil spirits. And while we're dying, she's sitting behind her white walls and feasting on our bones. Interesting. Sacrifices, madness, pain, and death. Even in so primitive a society as this, such rites seem senseless. Not worthy of such efforts. What is this random quirk of nature? What is this, a random quirk of nature or something darker? I was taught that peasants have a tendency to exaggerate their suffering due to sloth and weakness of spirit. But this young man, vermilion thorns pierce every centimeter of his body, and gray shackles binds his hands, feet, and neck. There are no lies in his words, only terror and desperation without end. Telling me people are seeing evil spirits? Yes, others are going feral and attacking their loved ones. And then there's... People say that in some settlements, well, they stopped pulling the law altogether, imperial law, and, and the law of basic human decency. People are turning into animals. Who's behind the rebels? Swallows nervously and looks at you with fear. Hey, don't ask me that. I can't sell out my brethren. It's over for me, but the others, I won't betray them. 95% chance... Give the rebel ladies of people waiting outside. We'll put you through far worse torment than I will. Goodbye. I need to find out more. To do that, I need to meet with your leader. Just try it. As long as you keep your word. Never been in their camp. None of us have. Only the chief saw one person from their base. He came a few times bringing weapons and orders. He said he represented a greater force that we could than we could imagine. He said that the governor's dogs will pay for their reprisals in the settlements, but that's not where they're hidden. They keep their distance from ordinary folks. So I know claims their leaders are being hiding away from population centers. We have it all worked out so that if anyone gets caught, the others aren't caught with them, but I swiped the chief's fox. I thought after I killed the governor, I could use the message coordinates to find the base and hide out there. Use a fox from his pocket, hold it out to you with shaking hand. That's everything I know, your lordship. Rebel box. Uh, 
Now take a drink, I need to think about this. class would give him an easy death. People waiting outside will put you through a far worse torment than I will. Goodbye. Get up and come with me. I give you my word as rogue trader, you will live. <sighs> Iconoclast would kill him. Mercifully. I'm going to do the Iconoclast thing. I know it doesn't sound right, but... <laughs> then he's got these berries. These berries are important. That is not how we're supposed to be moving. Why does it keep changing my moving order? Damn it. Every time I come on planet, it changes my formation. I'm getting really tired of this. Pascal's still in the lead instead of him. Why? Okay. There's nothing else in here. So we'll go back outside. I always keep my options open. Okay, in my journal. Damn it. And the are in hiding far away from population centers, coordinates of attacks. I got a feeling that she really is behind this. Ship to engage the systems in the search. So I have to go back to the system. Okay. Back to the ship it is. Ship is over here. And back to the void ship. So I can turn things on. Maybe I can talk to Yurlet there. As you once sought my help, now I'm seeking yours. The time has come to dispel the final shadows on our path. Okay, I gotta talk to Yurlet. With you, I now know I know a great deal about those who are disturbing the peace of the local ruler. I also know where they are hiding. Allow me to show you the way, on the condition that you bring me to them. Your grave, Warden Caesar, better late than ever. Why did you not say anything? No other path was open to me, but now our paths are aligned, and my decision was motivated not by caprice, but by reason. 
Trust me now to be honest with the person who can fix all of this. Everything you've discovered, everything you have learned from your kind, they're all traces of the same calamity, a calamity that will eclipse all the strife and wars on the face of this world. All the signs were plain to see, but I was here, and the Monke Mon failed to recognize the coming storm. Please follow me, Dren Trader. You must, if this world is truly matters to you. Calamity you're talking about. We're still holding back information. Just very soon, but not here. Not in the place where it seems evil has made its nest. Have patience, little heck, and trust me. Uh. Okay, Soviet, I will follow you. So now we're going to go someplace else. And I'm going to need to put in a cut once we get there. I wanted to go back to my ship because I wanted to give her good guns. <laughs> I wanted to give her military weapons that I have in my ship. How very annoying. Sort of. And everybody went up a level. Yep, we're going to put a cut in here. We're going to raise everybody up a level because we get a bunch of stuff here. Um, if you just look at, like, for me, I get two things. Uh, she gets two things here. I think Alvar gets two. If I remember right, the bounty hunter gets three. She's a bounty hunter, so she'll get three things. And Cassie, I think, gets two like me. She's master tactician. So, yeah, we've got some... Why didn't she get this ability? Why didn't she get that ability? I'm so very confused why that's not marked. Did I just skip a level? Okay, I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. All right. All right, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. You really like to see, you go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified, upload videos under scheduled streams. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.